Hello friends, in my previous video I showed you how to download and install Postgres SQL Server onto your computer and also how to download and install PG Admin onto your computer. But today we are going to be looking at how we can load a sample database onto our Postgres SQL database server. Okay, we are going to be loading a sample database into the Postgres SQL database server that we have installed on our computer. And we are going to be doing that through the PG admin that we had installed on our computer. Okay, the sample database we are going to be using today is the DVD rental database, which we are going to be downloading from this um, link from this website. So if you go straight directly to this data this link right here i will be putting the link in the description below so if you click the link or you copy and paste it to your browser it should take you right here okay in my next video i will be explaining this entity relation model diagram to you guys okay but today we want to load the sample database into our postgres sql database server okay so what we are going to be downloading is a dvd rental dot tar dot tar file and that is in this link let me zoom in right here for you guys so you are going to click this to download the file so i'm going to click that right now as you can see i've clicked that and i've downloaded it dvd rental dot zip so it's going to be a zip file go to the folder that you have uh, downloaded it in my own case it is inside my download folder okay because it is in dot zip file i'm going to unzip it in my case if i double click i can out see the content of what i have inside maybe it's different from your own computer so all you have to do is just you know unzip and get the file out what we need is this dot tar file so if i since i have this dot tar file now as you can see i'm going to copy it i right click and copy i can put it in any folder but in this case i'm just going to put it in my download my downloads folder i'm going to paste it right here okay as you can see right now what i've done right here is to go in into the zip file and copy and paste it out the dvd rental dot tar file okay take note how did i do that I went directly into this link okay I'm going to provide the link to you in the description below in the, you can find in the description below and then you can copy and paste into your browser or you can click it you know to go to this link and download so we are going to be loading this database into our Postgres SQL database server so why are we loading this sample database into the Postgres SQL database server this is because that is the database we are going to be using as part of this uh, a video series to teach you guys the fundamentals of uh, Postgres SQL up to the intermediate level okay now we know that we already have the DVD rental file inside this downloads okay now we can you can go to remember that we had already created PG admin you had already installed PG admin and Postgres SQL server so now go to your uh, your search or your uh, or your uh, windows and then look for PG admin or you can search right here and type PG admin in my case uh, it's showing my other screen but right here I can just I can just click this window and I have my PG admin if you don't see it up there because mine is recently added that's what I'm seeing if you don't see it you can just you know scroll down and try to find it or you use this search uh, box right here okay so in my case i'm going to open up my pg admin remember we had uh installed it before so i'm going to bring it over to this place because it was showing it was popping up on my other screen so it's going to ask you for your password remember we had a password before so if you have not watched my previous uh videos that I had created before this please i will encourage you to go right now and watch that before you come back to this because that is where i already already explained 
how to download and install PostgreSQL Server and PG Admin. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to enter my password right here. Okay, now I have access to my servers. Let me make this uh, big. Uh, so I come to my servers. As you can see, I have two servers right here. I have PostgreSQL 14 and 15. But in this series of video, we are going to be using uh, SQL 15. And I had already explained that in my previous videos. I encourage you again to go and watch that. So I will open this. So when I try to open, it's asking me for password. Same password. Same password that you had created before. So now, as you can see, my PostgreSQL 15 is opened, right? Now, if I open this databases, what do we see? We can see that we have only one database right here, only one, and that one database is this Postgres, this Postgres. And this this Postgres database, that you got this from when you installed the Postgres server initially when you like i showed in my previous video so we have that okay i can just uh collapse that but we want to create another database remember we said that we want to load the dvd rental database into our postgres sql server on our computer okay so what we are going to do first is to create another database remember i said we have one database here already postgres but we need to create another one that is where we are going to upload our uh, our database, uh, our DVD rental database, okay, or data. So I will come right here on databases. I will right click. When you right click, then you have create. Then you left click on database. Select that. And then it's asking you what is the database name you are trying to create. I will call it DVD rental. You can give it any name that you want so this is the name i'm calling the database i'm creating the owner is postgres then just say save just save it it's saving it as you can see now now we have two databases okay one is dvd rental you see dvd rental and postgres okay but we are interested in dvd rental because that is what we just created and that is where we are going to load our our dvd rental.tar file that we had downloaded that is what contains the data we are going to be working with okay so if you open this one thing i want to show you right now is do we have data here right now no how do we confirm let's see this is dvd rental I just opened if you come to schemas if i open schemas if i come right here tables tables as you can see when i click it there is nothing if you click this it toggles down but there is nothing right that means we don't have any tables any set of tables yet we don't have data yet in this our in this database that we just created right now let us load it with data remember we just downloaded the data which is the .tr file which i have on my in my downloads folder okay so now i'm going to right click when i right click i will come to restore click restore when you click restore this is what it gives you it tells you format format custom or tar that's here i remember that we had already downloaded a tr file okay and then it comes to file name so you need to put in a file name of where that file is in my own case i, I can just come here and navigate to the folder where i have the file so i'm going to do that for you right now click this as you can see it's showing it brought me to my folder then i can select the folder it brought me to my uh to the windows explorer then i mean to my file explorer rather then i come right here downloads but as you can see my downloads i'm not seeing anything right and that's because i can i need to change the file type to all files now you can see that i have dvd rental.tr i will select that okay that's the file name click open so as you can see i have the file path right now yeah you don't have to do anything right here then just click restore see what see what happens when you click restore let's watch what happens process started it already started restoring it says restoring backup on the server postgres 15. now it says it is completed very good so i can close this close this okay now let's see something right here it says it is completed let us go back to dvd rental 
DVD renter. I open that, come to public, open public, then tables. Let's see. As you can see, when I click, I still don't see any tables. The tables we just loaded from the data from the uh .er file we downloaded. We still don't see anything. And why is that? And that is because we need to refresh. You need to refresh the database. So if I right click on this um on this dvd rental and then i'll say refresh okay night has refreshed let us check again if you come to these tables now what do we see wow nice nice as you can see now we refreshed we can see different tables that we just loaded actor address category city country blah 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 up to store you see that now we have been able to do or to load the dvd rental database into this database that we just created this dvd rental now this database has data that we can start working with in our next set of videos if you look at this this is one table actor if i click this actor you can see columns constraints indexes triggers rules if i click these columns you can see I have four columns inside this table actor id first name last name update last update okay okay let's try to write a simple statement and let's see if we we'll get some data if i right click this dvd rental and click query tool you can see that it comes in right here take note when you click that you can have query or you can have query history in my case i already have some history because i wrote some you know some codes some SQL codes before, but you should just come to query and let's just write a simple query, select star. Don't worry if you don't understand this now in terms of this query I'm writing. I'm going to be explaining more of that in next videos, okay? So if I say select star from this table, this actor, I can just click this actor and then just drag it right here. Okay, look at it. I just dragged this. Select star from public.actor then I can then say execute. Boom. You can see it ran and then it gives me it gave it gave me these uh, uh these columns and this data. Okay. So now in this video I've been able to show you how to import or upload a DVD rental database into your Postgres SQL server on your computer. Okay. I would encourage you to try to, to also do this so that in the next videos, you already have the data to work with me when I'm explaining the, this SQL concept to you. Okay, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel for more videos. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next class. Bye.